Decision 2016 now, and Russ Feingold threw his name into the U.S. Senate race, paving the way for a rematch with Ron Johnson. Charles Benson joins us in the studio to tell us what it all means. Charles. Well, it means there's going to be another epic battle on the ballot. Both campaigns will be well financed, and it's likely to be the most competitive Senate race in the country as Democrats try to take back the U.S. Senate. Now, Feingold held the job for 18 years until he was kicked out by Fond du Lac businessman Ron Johnson in 2010. Johnson won in an off presidential election year, but that will not be the case next year. And that traditionally favors Democrats. Feingold did not mention Johnson by name in the 92nd online announcement, but he blasted all the big money in politics. People tell me all the time that our politics in Washington are broken and that multimillionaires, billionaires, and big corporations are calling all the shots. They especially say this about the U.S. Senate. The root cause of the problem is the big government. It sort of tracks all the corruption and all the big money. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to limit the size of the government. So what does history say about a second chance for senators trying to win back their old seat? Well, according to SmartPolitics.com, it's only happened twice in the last six decades. Mike and Carol. All right. Thank you, Charles. Former